Sport Dynamics stage red, the egocentric self-indulgence stage. In this video, I'll summarize everything important there is to know about Spiral Dynamics Stage Red. So without further ado, let's get started. So Stage Red comes after Stage Purple, when you start questioning what the tribe gives you. You start asking, what do I get? Collectively, Stage Red evolves when Stage Purple is stable enough, when the tribe's survival is stable enough. For example, when we started having agriculture, the tribe's food and safety needs started being more stable in it. Individually, it often evolves in early adolescence which also explains the often violent or toxic behavior of teens. If you look back at elementary school, middle school, or maybe even high school, more than likely you can identify people at stage red, maybe even yourself. Many people, however, never leave the stage, and stay in stage red until they die. So, what is Spile Dynamics Stage Red? What are the characteristics of stage red? Stage red is characterized by egoistically striving for more power, without taking other people's suffering into account. Imagine someone robbing a bank or raping someone just because they want more money or sex. That is stage red. Or a relevant example would be the Russian government going to war with Ukraine simply for more power, without really taking into account the consequences and suffering caused by the war. Because stage red is very impulsive. It wants its needs met immediately, no matter the consequences. And another characteristic of stage red is violence. Stage red tends to be extremely violent. Stage red uses intimidation, torture and murder to gain power and respect. It uses violence to govern. And so it's the stage of dictators and warlords. And stage red even glorifies the violence. There's this idea of dying valiantly in battle. Take for example Vikings trying to reach Valhalla by dying heroically in battle. And also gladiator fights. Gladiator fights are glorified violence. And today's counterpart would of course be boxing. Another characteristic of Stage Red is that it tends to be narcissistic, entitled, and cocky. Stage Red is, for example, toxic masculinity. The idea of just forget your feelings and just do it. And the need for respect and strength. And also, Stage Red never admits to being wrong. For example, a toxic partner that just gaslights you. Or a chronic liar. For that, another relevant example would be Amber Heard, with the whole trial with Johnny Depp thing. So, the cockiness of Stage Red also makes it more confident and direct. This can be really good for a leader, because they can quickly make decisions and take action. Especially at war, this would be extremely important. But Stage Red also has no self-reflection, and it's incapable of long-term planning. Stage Red is unable to be convinced that it's wrong. Because Stage Red is never going to be like, hmm, I wonder if murdering that guy really was the right decision. Stage Red just goes and does it, without thinking or retrospecting. So there's no guilt or morality. And because Stage Red doesn't have any self-reflection, it doesn't learn from its mistakes, nor from punishment. So if you try to punish someone Stage Red by, for example, putting them in prison, they're not gonna learn from it. When they're released, they might become repeat offenders. Now that was the main characteristics, but you may ask, where is Stage Red found? One important thing to know about the stages is that they correspond to a survival strategy, for a particular type of environment. Stage Purple is for surviving in the wilderness, and Stage Red is for surviving in hostile environments. Imagine ancient civilizations. You could at any moment be killed or raped by some raiding tribe. You could at any moment be murdered by some bandits. So you have to be strong in order to survive. Stage red is often found in these type of dog-eat-dog -dog environments. Or in other words, kill or be killed environments. You have to do anything to get ahead of everyone else. Otherwise you won't survive. Imagine if you were a gladiator in a fight to the death. You'd have to use every tool and dirty trick up your sleeve in order to win. Just to survive. And that is how stage red operates. So naturally, lying, cheating, and other dirty tricks are extremely common at Stage Red. Stage Red simply uses these as survival methods, without thinking of the consequences. And now Stage Red very much still exists today, even in our modern cultures. I mean, you can take capitalism, for example. Our societies are shaped in the way that the powerful and rich come out on top. So for Stage Red, they feel like they'll have to do anything in order to get on top. Stage Red takes advantage of people to get rich. After all, money is power. But you might also find Stage Red in poor areas like the Hood, or other poor or war-torn countries like Syria, Iraq, etc. And also many parts of Africa. So now, what does Stage Red value? Here's a list of the most common Stage Red values. Strength and power. Displays of toughness and bragging. Honor. Coming out on top or being number one. Status. Loyalty to the boss or the king. And respect. Revenge, decisiveness, action, and assertiveness. And also materialistic and pragmatic things. For example, money, sex, drugs, etc. And now it's time for a list of examples of Stage Red. First up, we have some people at Stage Red. Mike Tyson when he was younger, and a lot of other fighters, for example, Conor McGregor. 
Fighters in general tend to be towards red, but of course there are exceptions in blue, orange, or even green. Next up, we have school bullies. Then we have chronic gamblers, criminals, and con artists. And ironically, some police are at stage red, which leads to the problems such as police violence. And next, the Joker from Batman. And the Sith from Star Wars are an excellent example. And we have terrorists, the KKK, and people in Mexican drug cartels. For this, I really recommend watching the show Narcos on Netflix. It really captures the essence of stage red. Then we have the Russian government and Putin, Kim Jong-un, Stalin, Hitler, Genghis Khan, and also Trump. Some other historical examples would be the Vikings, the Spartans, pirates, and some self-help gurus such as Andrew Tate. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up bitch, sex. That really captures what stage red is about. And next we also have Jake Paul. He's also an excellent example of stage red. And then a lot of people on Instagram flexing their muscles, their money, their cars, etc. They tend to be towards stage red. And next up some things at stage red. A lot of video games, for example the GTA franchise. Then we have the Old Testament and also the porn industry tends to be very stage red. And of course we have rich people's private islands, the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing, that is stage red. And weapons meant for killing, assault rifles, etc. And also arms races, who can have the best weapons, that is pure stage red. And then some behaviors at stage red. Arm wrestling, flexing your muscles as a show of power, some combat sports. Then we have rule breaking, cheating and lying, manipulation, torture and rape. Murder, domestic violence, bribery and corruption, and holding grudges, or seeking revenge. And finally, some ideas at stage red. The whole alpha male mentality, toxic masculinity in general, the whole men shouldn't feel things movement. Then we have the idea of turf and territory, prisonhood and some incel culture, racism. And some sayings at stage red would be an eye for an eye, whatever I can take is fair, survival of the fittest, and you scratch my back. I scratch yours. Stage red is often very similar to stage orange. Stage orange, however, isn't as violent and has the capacity for guilt, long-term planning, as well as self-reflection. So what should you not do around stage red? If you're around someone stage red, you shouldn't show any weakness. Stage red takes advantage of those it deems weak. And next, don't disrespect, insult, or betray, or doubt the boss's power. And then, don't make excuses. Other things that trigger stage red are losing, lack of action, and stage green. Nothing triggers toxic masculinity like someone at stage green. And now, stage red might seem very negative, doesn't it? But you have to remember that stage red isn't quote-unquote worse than any other stages. It isn't bad. It's just another survival strategy for a different environment, and it's effective for that environment. Remember that someone at stage green wouldn't survive a day in the Mexican drug cartels, or in a violent prison. The positive aspects of stage red are also important to discuss. For example, stage red is excellent in leadership positions when things are uncertain. For example, in the case of war, stage red protects its people from outsiders. And because stage red is about conquering others, stage red also happens to be excellent at bringing small tribes together. At stage red, you really start to see bigger empires form up. For example, stage red Roman emperors conquered massive parts of Europe, or Genghis Khan conquered massive parts of Asia. So stage red is good at holding people together. And then, stage red is also excellent in leadership positions in companies, because stage red is decisive and takes a lot of action. And it's also very creative and ambitious. But now, if you're at stage red, how do you transcend it? You have to realize that stage red is too limiting, unpredictable, and dangerous. You might have to suffer a lot or come to a near-death experience in order to understand it. That stage red might lead to you unexpectedly dying. You could also get older and have a child, and realize that stage red endangers your child. Or more likely in western society, in middle school or high school, you might learn that violence and manipulation doesn't exactly make the most friends. And so you might run into issues. To move on to stage blue, you also need some form of morality. Or something higher than yourself. It could be religion or some other belief system. But you have to develop guilt, shame and remorse. And you have to explore your emotions. Especially your feminine side. You have to open up to be more soft. And now for moving from stage red to stage blue, there's an excellent documentary by Vice called something like the Cannibal Warlords of Liberia, which really captures stage red, and one of the generals there is described as coming close to dying, and then after that starting to believe in God and becoming a religious preacher. That's extremely characteristic of the evolution from stage red to stage blue. I'll put a link to the documentary in the description. And now we're about to reach the more prevalent stages in society, stage blue and stage orange. You can watch stage blue right here. That's all, out.